Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to create a Word Families worksheet in PowerPoint. Now, for some of you, you were watching my live stream on Facebook, so thank you so much for joining in there, following and liking on my page. So if you haven't already, make sure to go onto my Facebook page and like that. It really helps me out and it lets you know obviously when content has arrived and make sure to like this video and to subscribe. Okay, to create something like this, we're gonna use PowerPoint. So make sure to open up PowerPoint now. We're then going to turn it to A4. We can get rid of these boxes here. So we can go to design, slide size, custom slide size, and then we click this downward menu and we go to A4 and we go portrait. And that will just make sure it's in sure fit as well. So we've got an A4 piece of paper. Perfect for printing out and laminating at home. Now we're gonna create some text boxes. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a title, word families, okay? So I'm gonna to go to home and then click onto this menu here, which then just creates a text box like that. Perfect, and then word families. Or we can do word family um, because we're looking at just one word family today, which is at, okay? So we could possibly do that here as well, just so we're nice and clear. I'm gonna use a precursive font, so I'm gonna highlight this and then go to precursive, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so people can see it. Easy. Perfect. Uh, I might give it a little bit of a border. So if you click on the text box, you can go to shape format and then go down to shape outline. And uh, we can make it a dark blue. And shape outline again. Add a bit of weight to it here. Three points is normally quite nice. That gives it a bit of shape to it. So once you've done that, we're going to be focusing on, or for this example, we're going to be focusing on four different at words. So I'm going to look at bat, cat, mat, and hat. Obviously, if you want to do other ones, you can do. But first thing I'm going to do, I think it's really important when teaching, especially um, phonics like this and CBC words, you use pictures. Okay, allow that person to recognize the picture and the sound or the grapheme, okay, and how they work together to create a word. So I'm going to go to insert, pictures, online pictures I'm going to put cartoon cat um, which one do you think this one here I used earlier in the live stream seems perfect pop that open nice and big I'm going to have to reduce the size otherwise we're not going to be able to fit everything in perfect and now I'm going to do that again but this time I'm going to find a cartoon bat now a bat is a homophone Okay, which means it's a word with the same spelling but a different meaning. So you could have a bat, like the, the flying bat, an animal, or a bat, which is something used in sport, like baseball or cricket, okay? So I'm going to use one that's referring to sport here. Now, you can use the other bat, that's absolutely fine, but it's a homophone, okay? Two words that have the same spelling but a different meaning. They mean different things. And I'm going to use a hat, like wearing a hat on your head. Uh, cartoon hat. Oh, this one's quite nice. Let's pop that one in there. Reduce the size. Perfect. Just like that. Uh, let's put a little bit smaller. Excellent. And I'm going to use a mat that you sit on. You might have on the floor a mat. A mat as well is a name of someone. It's short for Matthew. So that is a form of homophone, but it's slightly different because mat, like the name, is spelled with two T's. So cartoon mat. Perfect. We can click that one. Now you've got a cat on a mat there. That'll be perfect. Excellent. So we'll just move these down a little bit so we can make the most of the page. These are only four I'm going to be doing. On your one, you could do quite a few if you wanted to. So once you've got the pictures up, we're now going to put in an area in which someone who is completing the worksheet can write onto. So we need the text box with a line in it. So let's go to insert. We can go to text box here. And we're just going to make a quick, quick one like that. And we're going to press enter into it's at the bottom. And I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys here. Like that. And then we're going to hold down shift and press the dash to make an underscore like this Ooh, perfect and we don't need to do this all over again we're just going to click it once Control c to copy bring it out Control c again and press Control v like that we'll do it one more time like that and one more time we'll drag it all the way down for the mat 
and PowerPoint's really good at kind of lining them up nicely. I might just drag, there we go. So we've got the pictures, we've got an area for the child to write onto the page. Now, I'm not assuming the child's gonna recognize these straight away, and I like to use is word banks. Word banks are a place where it's a storage of words that are useful in this activity, okay? So if you wanted to, control C this, just gonna drag it here, I'm then gonna put in um, word bank. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because it's not that important, but it's still useful. I'm gonna pop it here. And then I'm gonna write down the words on the page so the child can use it to connect to each picture. So to do that, I'm gonna go insert, and then I'm going to go to text box. I'm gonna draw one like that. That should be fine, just like that. And I'm gonna put in the first one, which is bat. Ideally put it in a different order so it's a bit harder for the child to recognize where things go. Change it to precursive. Again, that'll be in the description below. And make it nice and big pop it in the middle and I'm going to change it to red I might put a little board around the word as well just to make it really stand out make it a little bit bigger perfect now I'm going to put a little cutting out box around it so if you wanted to print it out you can cut it out and stick it onto the line if you wanted to shape format again once you click the box go to shape outline I'm going to go to shape weight and press 3 back to shape outline and go to dashes and go put on that one. Now we don't have to do it all over again. We just click it, control C to copy, control V to paste. And we bring it down like that. Doesn't have to be in order, guys. Perfect. And obviously we need to change that. So that could be cat now. This one could be mat and that could be hat. So there's, there's lots of things a child could do with this. They could potentially look at the words and write it on the dotted line. Or if you printed it out, you could cut out this and stick it into the right area, okay? Or you could draw lines to it if you wanted to. It's really up to you, as long as they're making the connections between the right picture and the right word. It doesn't matter. If you want to make it look a bit more fancy, you could put a board around this. So we go to um, design, or we go to insert, sorry, get shapes. We're going to click on this rectangle here. And then going to drag it all the way over like that. Uh, it might come up blue, that's fine. We're going to click on it. We're going to go down to this button here. And we're going to give it like a blue one there. Now, if I want the borders to be a bit different, click on it again. Shape format, shape outline. Make it a little bit thicker. Three is always a nice one, actually. Three is fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one over a little bit. Click back on the border. One more thing to do. Shape format. Shape outline. The sketch ones are quite nice. It gives it a little bit of a casual look. Like that. Perfect. So there's an example of a worksheet created for the purpose of using at as a word family. Okay. This is all something you could do at home. Okay. If you want to specialize for a certain child and you're focusing on a particular sound or word family, this is a perfect example on how to do it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. So if you do really, if you like this video, make sure to like it and please subscribe. It's as easy as that, guys. I'll see you next time.